Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about how to standardize the normal random variable. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about what standard normal distribution and we done some uh, examples how to find the probability using standard normal table. Please watch the classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So let's take a normal distribution f of x random variable we call it as x for normal distribution mu sigma square is given as this is the equation to find the uh, for the normal distribution and if you take an example mu is equal to 10 and sigma is equal to 2. So how our standard uh, how our normal distribution looks like uh, let's take a graphical visualization at mu is equal to 10 on the x axis at 10 we are having the maximum value. So both sides it is on a symmetric uh, symmetric in shape uh, and what's the stand uh, what's the sigma value given sigma is equal to 2 has been provided uh, so two standard uni, uh, two standard deviation uh, st one standard deviation distance from the mean one standard deviation distance from the mean on the right hand side so this visualization we provided uh, in our previous classes we discussed many times about this normal distribution uh. so now coming to the question so if you want to identify the probability value from 8 less than x less than 12 means 8 to 12 if you want to identify the probability value we need to identify the area between this curve 8 12 in between this what is the area that is what we have to identify in order to find the probabilities in normal distribution so we use the equation 8 to 12 f of x mu sigma square dx this is what the we have to find the differentiation and we have to substitute the values and uh, and we have to find the probability value but this is very difficult process that is what we discussed in our previous classes is there a easy way in our last class we already discussed about standard normal distribution and the probability table has been provided for that standard normal distribution can we use the same probability distribution to find the probability of 8 to 12 yes there is a way first we will understand how we will find that then at the end we are going to understand why these two are same that is what we discuss at the end now coming to we if you want to identify the probability of this so we we have to convert this normal distribution into standard normal distribution means you take the random variable x from here we convert that into standard normal random variable z that it that is what standardizing means so now how we convert that let's try to understand z is equal to you take a random variable from this from this normal distribution 8 12 these are the values which we are we needed that's why we are taking 8 and 12 8 minus mu by sigma 8 minus 10 by sigma this is what uh, uh, this is the random variable in standard normal distribution what's the value you got minus 1 12 minus 10 by 2 what's the uh, random variable we got z2 is equal to plus 1 so we need to identify the probabilities in standard normal distribution probability of minus 1 less than z less than 1 minus 1 to 1 this is what how we identify the probabilities in standard normal distribution table is provided it's easy to find the probabilities we done some examples in our last class yes instead of identifying the probability value from 8 to 12 we are converting this into we are standardizing this to standard normal distribution and we are identifying probabilities there is both are same yes both are same we will get a visualization here 10 what is the standard deviation value sigma value is 2 one standard deviation unit from mu value 8 one standard deviation value from mu value 12 this this area will be always 68 percent this we already discussed when we discussed about the properties of normal distribution for any normal distribution it is 68 percent okay so same thing 8 12 this is what we need so when we converted this into standard normal distribution what's the value you got minus 1 to 1 means one standard deviation from the mu value which is 0 in standard normal distribution one standard deviation on the right hand side is 1 both are same we got the 68 percent so that's why we can apply 
so so why 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 both are same this is the point we discussed in our properties you know fourth property we discussed that uh, normal distributions may be of any shape, shape and size but their probability values are same for any normal distribution that is the point fourth property we discussed there we showed graphically by taking two standard normal dist uh, two normal distributions uh, that's applicable to standard normal distribution also so that's why we can use this standardizing technique to identify the probabilities for any normal distribution so in our coming classes next class we are going to do some real time examples on normal distribution hope you understand the concept of standardizing the normal distribution random variable if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you